Hello everyone, this is Tech Bob here. Welcome to eTech Facebook Live Friday. Today is going to be a quicker video than last week as we have a product spotlight today covering our GD10 back glass breaking tool. This stream is going to be about five minutes, um, so hang on and uh, watch everything we have for today. Um, this tool right here, just to get started, we do uh, sell it on our website. It's just a uh, basically a center punch and it has a tension control on the side. Um, the way it works is you loosen it to lower the tension, which would um, reduce the power or the impact of this point right here. Um, and this is used for back glass repair. So I have a couple frames um, I have over here on the side, just as examples. Now, um, these frames are just two iPhone 8 Pluses and an iPhone 8. It's just some that I had laying around here. They have already been lasered. Um, so to be clear, this tool is to be used with the laser, not just on its own. It's a lot harder to take the back glass off when you don't use a laser at all. So this pen, even with as good of a job it does, without lasering the phones, you're still going to have a really hard time. So first thing I want to cover with this tool is uh, safety. Um, I've seen a couple posts online recently of people saying that they've damaged phones with this. Um, it's very hard to do that um, if you're... Uh, if you're just following certain guidelines. So if you look at these phones right here, you'll see that there's spots where the laser didn't hit. And that's because there's their openings in the metal part of the frame. So your charging port area, your wireless charging layer, your rear camera area, and then other openings on the board. If the laser didn't hit there, that means it's not safe to be around. So that would include your blade or pry tool whenever you're prying off the back glass, which this is the blade right here or um, the back glass breaking tool itself. So for example, I would never use it right here in the center of the phone or any of the centers because you would basically go right through that wireless charging layer, uh, damage that and could possibly even hit the battery and uh, that would not be good. So first, like I said, safety thing, do not use the back glass breaking tool wherever the laser did not hit. It, that's for a reason because you don't wanna damage the phone. Um, the second thing is as far as tension goes, I would usually um, pull it out or loosen it as much as you can so it has minimal tension, so the impact is, uh, is very light. And then if it's not cracking it, adjust the tension from there. We kind of already have ours set to where we like um, the, the power at, at least. So as far as using it, it's pretty straightforward. You get it anywhere you want to crack. Um, this is good to help get the, the removal process started. So I'm going to take this phone on the far left and I'm going to hit right here. You see, as soon as I press it, it cracks Do another spot there. And it basically, when it gets, when it gets to that release point, you'll hear the pop. And what that does is help you just get your um, pry tool underneath the glass to make it easier to remove. Um, the thing that we use this tool the most for right now is around the rear camera area. Um, I didn't have an iPhone 11, 11 Pro or Pro Max to show in today's stream, but I don't think we've done an iPhone 11 series without this um, since we started using it. It makes the process a lot easier because the glass is a lot thicker in this area. It's a lot harder to uh, get off with just your pry tool and the laser can't hit all the way or as close as you want to it because it doesn't want to damage anything there. So the, using this pen is really great for that. Um, especially the 11 Pro and Pro Max where you have the three cameras, that little spot in between the three cameras where it's hard to get your pry tool into. Use this pen and it makes it a lot easier to get that out. Um, as far as this pen goes, it is available on our website. Um, there's not many other features um, on it. It's used to basically crack the glass and help you get the uh, back glass off easier. Definitely around the rear camera area is the, a big area to use it in. Um, Final closing things are, uh, this is a tool we recommend if you are in the market to purchase a laser, definitely pick one of these up. Um, you're really going to uh, like the process using this versus not having this. Um, but this was Tech Bob with another eTech Facebook Live stream. Um, this is our first time using OBS as well. It's the studio management, so hopefully there was no lag. We'll read the video after uh, it's uh, live is done and uh, update from there. But Catch us next Friday, same time, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.